Hi everyone, it's Maddie and welcome to my 2021 plan with me. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be using my new Archer and Olive notebook here to plan out my setup for 2021. So this is notebook is from a Canadian based company that is centered outside of Toronto and this is the 8 inch by 8 inch dot journal. They have some really cool combinations of different colors of paper if you want to check the company out. I will put the link down in the description below but I really just kind of liked the look of the square one from some of the videos that I've seen other people use and so far I am absolutely loving this notebook. The one that I was using before didn't sit flat, it was very small and it was incredibly difficult to color in. The pages in this are so thick that I don't have to worry about bleed through and it just makes my life so much easier that I don't have to be constantly trying to like get into the crack where the book won't lay flat. So for this year I decided that I wanted to keep a consistent theme through my bullet journaling where in the past I've done kind of a different theme every month. So the theme that I picked for this year is going to be Disney and pretty much every single month I'm going to do a different Disney movie. Now there are going to be some Pixar movies but I'm going to try and keep it to like after Pixar was bought out by Disney so that way I'm being at least a little bit authentic. So for my first page, I decided to do The Wonderful World of 2020, kind of just to put maybe a bit more of a positive spin going on to this year, because we know that the last year has been a little bit crazy, so I'm just working with that Disney font, and then I kind of googled some little Disney-esque doodles. So I have the Mickey Mouse ears, the uh, drawing of Simba from Lion King, a little honey pot, I believe that's Aurora's crown, and then the Peter Pan hat and the uh, 11th lamp. And then I'm just adding in a little bit of some gold, silver, and bronze accents with my Sharpies. That's another really good thing about this notebook is this is one of the first notebooks that I've even just like doing little dots like that with Sharpies that hasn't bled through to the other side, which is really exciting to be able to work with. So after this, I started working on my year at a glance and a lot of people write out the calendars I find that I don't really end up using the calendar that much for how much time it takes me to do. So I'm just going to do a little box and then I just did kind of the initial for each month. That way I have somewhere that I can write down important dates or birthdays or things that are going on. And then on the right side here I'm working on my content planner spread. So this is for things like videos, um, fan fiction, art, anything that I'm working on. And pretty much there's a column there for the name of the project, uh, whether I've completed the planning stage, whether the project has been created, whether that's filming or writing it, and then editing it and posting it. I know I'm probably going to need more than one page, but for now this is a clear and concise way for me to keep that all together without uh, getting confused and forgetting about things that need to be done. Now I'm still in university, so the biggest thing for me with this notebook is it, for it to be tangible for me to use for school. In the past, I've been work making bullet journal spreads like four months in advance so that I can use them all for the semester, and it's really exhausting to be doing that much. So I decided this year I'm going to do kind of the four months of the semester ahead of time, and then that way I have all my due dates in one place as well as when I'm working and everything, and then I don't really have to worry about trying to make all of these spreads at once. On the left hand side here, kind of what I'm making is a legend for the semester. I'm very color oriented in how I do everything. So all of these little Mickey Mouse heads here, I'm going to be adding in the title of each course that I'm taking this semester and then what color is affiliated with it. That way I can kind of keep track moving forward or I can quickly flip back to this legend if I forget what course I'm using each color for. Below that, there's an area for my marks, which I won't be filling out in this video, but pretty much when I sit down to go through all my syllabuses, I'm going to put a title in the appropriate color and then list all my marks and what they're weighted, and it just gives me a concise space to keep track of all of that so that I don't have to constantly be trying to remember how I did in certain projects and trying to calculate marks going into the exams. So after this, I'm working on doing my layouts for the calendars. This video is going to cut off here because I was having problems with my phone. So eventually, I don't think you'll get to see the end of the January calendar. 
Uh, I did have a little bit of a problem with the January calendar just because I hadn't quite figured out the spacing yet. But when I get here to where I'm working on my March and February calendars, I finally figured it out. So what I ended up deciding to do, I like the layout of these ones better, is I did a 1.2 millimeter uh, just standard pen and I did the outline in that and then I believe I used a 0 0.3 millimeter to do the inside lines and then just filling in all of the dates. A lot of bullet journalers make a page that is their grid spreads. I didn't really do that. It makes my life a little bit easier that I'm using a square notebook so I don't have to worry about what specifically is the height and the width because it's pretty much the same but it was pretty easy for me to work out the how much space that I would have for each day of the week. It actually, I think it's about two and a half centimeters, and then I just figured out how many weeks that I needed. So for most of the months, I need kind of five lines, and I think that worked out pretty well too, to being about three centimeters. I'm very happy with the way that this worked out. This is one of the things when I was picking out the square notebook that I really liked about them, was I knew it would be very easy for me to lay out the months, and I wanted to do this instead of doing four complete months where I needed title pages and weekly spreads and everything all in the first week of my semester. I was just getting to the point where that wasn't really manageable for me anymore. So one of the things that I really like that I'm getting to try out with the spread is fonts. I really love playing with fun and intricate fonts and I've been able to get pretty good, I think so far, at working with the Disney font. The only thing I didn't really know with these calendars was whether I should fill in a little bit more of the white space, so that would be kind of the space around the names of the month, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit here so you're not getting bored just watching me draw the same lines over and over again, but you'll see here I'm going to finish up my February calendar and then I'm going to move on to my April calendar. This is actually the very last um, spread that I'm going to be doing for this kind of 2021 setup. I do have a lot of apps like Goodreads and stuff that I use to log reading and things like that. In the past I've done kind of movie spread outs and things, but I've never really used them. So I thought this year I would kind of keep it simple and focus on putting time and effort into things in my bullet journals that I'm actually going to use. So I'll just give you a quick flip through here. So this is the title page that I have. And then we have my year at a glance and my content planner spreads, followed with my layout for the semester. And you can see where the calendar got kind of wonky there. And then my February, March, and April calendars. So there'll be a video coming out soon doing my January layout. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.